Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. What do you sound so happy about? Going out to dinner. I love going out to dinner. Well, come out of that closet and hum out in the open. That beautiful soprano of yours shouldn't be wasted on a bunch of hangers. My beautiful voice, did you say? Beautiful voice, I said. Those clear, lovely, pear-shaped tones. Which end of the pear? Either end of the pear. Take your choice. Come on, sing me a few pears. Oh, you make me so self-conscious. I'll just pretend I'm a hanger. How's that? Is that what you are? <laughs> you often act as if I am. Come on, now sing. How is this? Da 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 la 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 la. You make a beautiful quartet. You mean trio? You sing good enough for two, darling. Careful, you'll swell my vocal cords. Well, after that beautiful little rendition. Do you think we ought to start getting dressed for dinner? Presto. In ten minutes, I'll be a changed man. Oh, David, no, I love you as you are. Well, in that case, I'll just change my clothes. Good. What are you going to wear? How dressed up do you want me to be? Well, of course, you look stunning in an old potato sack. Just call me Spud. And you look particularly handsome in that old plaid blanket. And you really made a hit with the ladies when you wear that flower bag on your head. But why don't you just dress casually in your dark blue suit? Mm. I don't like to be so informal when I take the lady I love out to dinner. But since you think it's all right, I'll wear my dark blue suit. I had it pressed. Mm, little schemer. <laughs> I think I'll wear my silk broadcloth shirt, mm, too. Good, I love that one. Has Bertha brought it back all nice and laundered? Uh-oh, that's right. What's the matter? Well, um, Bertha burned her hand so she couldn't do the laundry this week, and she sent it out to the little man around the corner. And, mm, and the laundry's not back yet. Is that what you're working up to? Well, it should be back. It's been more than a week. I'll call Bertha and see what's happened to it. I don't like the idea of that silk broadcloth shirt going out to a strange laundry. Bertha says it's a hand laundry, not a strange one. And it's very good. David, does hand laundry mean that the laundry does it by hand? I've always suspected that hand laundry means someone works a machine by hand. If that shirt comes back torn, I'll never forget Bertha. So long. Hello, Bertha. This is Mrs. Norton. How are you? How's my shirt? Bertha, you remember that package of laundry I gave you? Oh, it's back. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, could you bring it up? Or would you prefer that Mr. Norton went down and... You're sure you're not disturbing yourself? Oh, fine. Right away. Fine. <sighs> it's back. Mm, that's good. What would you have done if it wasn't... Madame, we would have stayed home this evening. Oh, dear. I would not budge from the house unless I was beclothed in that <laughs> silk broadcloth shirt. You're very temperamental. Well, I am an opera singer, remember? Well, I suppose I might as well get dressed, too. Mm, we haven't got much time. I reserved a table. You did? Isn't that against your principles? Oh, very much against them. But then I've been overruled by the head waiters' union of New York City. Oh, I see. That's Bertha now. I'll answer it. Coming, Bertha. Why don't you just surprise the door sometime and answer it without letting you know you're coming? I didn't think the door minds, do you? Hello, Bertha. Ah, Mrs. Norton. I'm so sorry about this laundry. Don't be silly. How's your hand? Is it mm, better? It's fine now. Next week I'll be good as new. Here's your laundry. Thanks. Heaven, a lot of laundry. I hope they do it fine. I do not like laundries, but the lady in 5A, she tells me this is a very fine laundry. Oh, I'm sure everything will be perfect. What's going on out there? Where's my shirt? I'm catching my death of cold. I go now, Mr. Norton. He's impatient. Oh, he's just fooling, Bertha. Men, they are very impatient, I know. Good night, Mrs. Norton. i see you tomorrow. Good night, Bertha, and thanks. Oh, can I pay you for this tomorrow? We're going out. Oh, I trust you. You pay me when you have time. Good night. Night. Say hello to Fritz for me. I will. Here's the laundry, David. Might have come out and said hello to Bertha. That make her blush seeing me in this bathrobe. You look almost as beautiful in that bathrobe as in that silk broadcloth shirt. Say, what is silk broadcloth anyway? Mm, it's the very finest in menswear. Yeah, here's the laundry. And here's the list. Look, I'll read off the list and you check it. Oh, we don't want to check it. All, all we want is that shirt. I, I count six shirts. 
Well, it says seven, seven shirts. Can't be. There are only six. You sure there are only six? Count them yourself. Oh, that's ridiculous. It says seven. There must be seven. It must be here something. All right. You look. I'm looking. That's what I like about women. They think the only people who can do women's work is women. Well? There are only six. You see? I think you don't mind losing a shirt because it proves you're right. <laughs> well, it does take the sting off of it. Let's see which one's missing now. Here's the striped one. Here's uh, one, two, three, four Oxford shirts. And here's the sports shirt. Where is the silk broad, broad cloth? Oh, it must be here someplace, David. It must be. I don't see it. Well, it must be. There is no silk broadcloth shirt there. Oh, David, this is awful. I'll get it tomorrow, I promise. What about tonight? We're going out to dinner. Darling, you'll just have to wear another shirt. No, oh, maybe I'd better plan on wearing that flower bag after all. Oh, hmm? here, th this one is a nice shirt, right here. No, no, I prefer the potato sack. Oh, darling, your heart was really set on the silk broadcloth, wasn't it? I'll adjust myself. It's a cruel blow, but I'll No be able reason to... why you should. We'll get that shirt right now. Laundry's just around the corner. It'll only take five minutes. Oh, that's all right, dear. I'll wear another shirt. It's not that serious. But it is. Well, I get terribly disappointed when I plan on wearing one thing and then have to wear something else. No. I do look good in that silk broadcloth, I must admit. You do. You certainly do. In fact, I won't go to dinner unless you wear it. Let me see, where is that laundry list? Oh, here it is. What's the name of the laundry? It's a Chinese laundry. His name is uh, Ling Pu. Ling Pu. Oh, that's a sweet name, isn't it, David? Ling Pu. I wonder what he's like, Mr. Ling Pu. Or don't you say Mr. in front of Ling Pu. You really want me to cut the shirt now? I insist. I'll go out to and stop off at the drugstore. While you're at the laundry. <laughs> we need some toothpaste and toothbrushes. <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you stay home when I'm not here? Oh, I, I get lonesome. David, are you sure you won't need me? Positive. Darling, didn't I ever tell you about my Chinese ancestor? Your Chinese what? Yes. Didn't you know my full name was David? Charlie Chan, Norton. And Charlie Chan always get his shirt. Ding <laughs> Hao. <laughs> Ding Hao. Say, what does that mean? Very good, I think. Very good what? Just... Very good. Oh, well, ding ho. Mr. Ling Poo. Hey, is anybody home? Mr. Ling Poo. Ling Poo here, please. Oh, oh Mr. Ling Poo, I'm... I'm David Norton. I just received my laundry, and there's a shirt missing. Uh, look, Mr. Ling Poo, it's just one shirt, a silk broadcloth shirt. Uh, a shirt. A white shirt. You know, for me, with, with sleeves. No, 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 not not trousers, not a coat. A shirt, you know, shirt with tie. Tie? Tie. Uh, no, 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 not a tie, a, a shirt. I'll take off my coat. You see this? Now, look. A white shirt. I can get it all. I can get it all. This, a shirt. S-H-I-R-T. It's in all of us all done. It's no use. Uh, do you talk English? English? That's right, that's right. Do you speak English? Have no English, please. Well, do you speak it? Oh, yes. I speak English fine, please. Now, we're getting someplace. Then, then, do you have a white broadcloth shirt? The name is Norton. Norton? Uh, I have no Norton here. No, so no, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I, I, I am Norton. Have, have you a shirt here? I think this is the plot. I think you brought that shirt home to your brother. I think he's walking around wearing it. I, I have no brother. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll wear that potato sack tonight after all. Oh, potato. Oh, you want potato? No, no, way no, no, potato. no, no. All, potato. no all, all, all I want is a shirt. Now, look. Here is the laundry list. Now, you see here? Now, look. Shirts. I think that I have to go to the Yeah. Yes, that's, that's right. Now, now the sheets are fine, and the pillowcases are beautiful, and the towels are splendid, but the shirt. You still have one shirt. Sheets, towels. Right. 
I have mud sheets and a towel, all clean, very nice. Yes, I know, that, that's fine, but yeah. all I want is a shirt, a white silk broadcloth shirt and an aspirin. Oh, that's fine. You, you, you have aching off head, so sorry. No, so no sorry. I, I have a sharp pain through my forehead, but an aspirin won't help. All I want is my white... I think I want that shirt. I give up. You can have the shirt. I don't want it. I never liked it. Go on, wear it in good health. It'll be a little big for you, but you can have it. Hello, David. I waited and waited for you, and you didn't come. But I'm coming now. Got your shirt? I have nothing but an imminent nervous breakdown. Very imminent? Yes, it's practically here. Mr. Ling Pu speaks perfect English, but he doesn't understand a word of it. You mean you didn't get your shirt back? Exactly. But that's silly. If he speaks English. Mm, it's silly, eh? Yeah. I'll bet you didn't even try. I'll bet you 20 cents. It's a deal. <clears throat> Mr. Ling Pu, I am Mrs. Norton, and I've come about Mr. Norton. I think I thought I think I thought I saw. Ding ho. Ding ho. Oh, you mean shirt. That's right. Shirt. Oh, shirt. A, a white shirt. Yes. Ding ho. Yes. <laughs> oh, why didn't you say so? I got, I got it. Ding ho. Ding ho. It's very simple, darling. Well, I'll be a... David, ding didn't I ever tell you my full name was Claudia Confucius Brown Norton? It's funny how many housewives consider anyone who has a 40-hour week as a worker, in contrast to themselves... Yet they often work twice that long at home and without a lot of the comforts that office and factory workers enjoy today, too. Take yourself, for instance. When you've been at it since early morning, do you stop and refresh yourself with ice-cold Coca-Cola? Millions of business people do. Why not take time out this minute for the pause that refreshes? Ding ho! A shirt. Why do not Mr. Norton say a shirt right away? Well, I was under the impression that he... The uh, ladies, they talk English much finer. Oh, I like ladies. Ding-ho. Oh, they have a way of making themselves understood. They oh, do. yes, please. Uh, Mrs. Norton, I understand her. Well, I suppose, Mr. Ling Poo, you feel that ladies ought to do women's work. Oh, yes, yes, always, please. And uh, women's work is taking care of the house. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. House. Yes, yes. Take care of house, yes. Well, would you say, Mr. Ling Poo, that the uh, interior decoration of a house was ladies' work? In China, a lady of a house always do all work, a house. Well, Claudia isn't in China, but she feels that way about it, too. And she's going to get her chance to prove it tomorrow when an interior decorator tries to take over. Uh, he try, but uh, with Mrs. Norton, I am sure he no win. Uh... Confucius say, lady won something, uh, she uh, got something. <laughs> well, you may be right, Mr. Ling Poo. Well, goodbye to you. And as I was about to say, every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause, the pause that refreshes. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. Now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>